Most Elvis fans who are old enough to remember know exactly where they were on August 16th, 1977, the day the world learned the king of rock and roll had died. News Channel 9's Sarah Jennings caught up with a local physician who shares that defining moment in modern history that would also mold his decades-long career of caregiving. 60 years ago, Elvis Presley captivated the world with his chart-topping records, TV appearances, and a first Hollywood movie. And each August, thousands of fans continue to flock to Memphis to remember the legendary performer's life and legacy. I had a chance to sit down with Cleveland emergency room physician Dr. Jerry Devane, who worked to save the life of the music icon. Good evening. Elvis Presley died today. He was 42. Apparently, it was a heart attack. Before the news would reach the nation, Dr. Jerry Devane, who'd grown up near Elvis, would know of his passing. I was doing an acting internship at the Baptist Memorial Hospital in Memphis. It was just ending my shift uh, when I heard the call for a uh, code to the emergency room. When I entered the room, it was absolutely packed with people. He knew he needed to act quickly. I kind of marched my way around the corner of the room and got to the other side side where the gentleman that was doing CPR uh, on Elvis, I didn't know that at the time, um, seemed to be tiring, so I asked him if uh, I could take over for him. As Dr. Devane continued with the chest compressions, he noticed an unusual piece of jewelry around the patient's neck. And the gold chain had the letters TCB on it. Um, with a lightning bolt. Elvis's trademark insignia, taking care of business in a flash. And I looked at the foot of the bed and saw Dr. Nicopolis, who was uh, pacing there at the foot of the bed, and I thought, wow, you know, that looks like Elvis's doctor. But no one had said the patient's name. The chief resident was asking questions of the paramedics who had brought him in, and he asked them, you know, where they picked him up, and the paramedics looked at him kind of strange and said, well, at Elvis Presley, on Elvis Presley Boulevard, and that's when it kind of sunk in fully that uh, we were resuscitating Elvis. After nearly an hour, it was clear that the king was gone. 39 years have passed, but for Dr. Devane and millions of others, Elvis Presley's legacy lives on through his music, movies, and memories. Sarah Jennings, News Channel 9. Dr. Jerry Devane continues the work he began in Memphis more than 40 years ago at Tenova Healthcare in Cleveland. He also credited.